Hey, come cool. I just started streaming with OBS, but for some reason my stream keeps lagging. Hey, come cool. For some reason my stream is stuttering for my viewers, but for me it's perfectly fine. What should I do? Yo, come cool. I know nothing about encoders or bitrate or stream resolution. Can you please help me? Man, come cool. I lowered my bitrate and my stream is still lagging. What do I do? Please help me, come cool. Please. This is how we do it when the vocals turn to rhyme and the beats start to collide and it starts to intertwine. What's going on all you comic cool savages? I'm your host Wesley and you're watching CCS TV. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of lag and stuttering in OBS by fixing your bit rate, your encoder, and your stream resolution. Now before we get into the video, smash like, smash subscribe. If you hit the like button, it actually turns blue like my hat. So you just started streaming or you got a new PC and your OBS isn't working quite as well as you thought it would. Well, don't worry, I got you covered. What you're gonna wanna do first is download the latest version of OBS link in description if you use Streamlabs OBS that is okay too settings work in Streamlabs OBS just like they would in normal OBS once you got the latest version of OBS go ahead and open it up once you're in OBS go to the top left corner and go to file next go to settings the broadcasting guidelines are gonna vary from PC to PC if you stick to the end of the video I'll show you the best settings ranging from the 1080p streams to the 720p streams and whether you're using X two six four specs or the navita nvenc i will make sure that you have the best settings so that your stream is running with no problems so the first thing you're going to want to do when setting up your obs is go to stream and make sure that you select a server that's closest to you if you're not sure what server to select put auto recommended next you're going to want to go to output here is where you select your encoder and your bit rate for the encoder if you have the option to select navita nvenc this is the one that you're going to want to choose but don't worry if you only have have x264 you can still run a smooth stream using that encoder down below where it says enforce streaming service encoder settings make sure that is unchecked where it says rescale output make sure that is unchecked my rate control is cbr this is pretty standard. For the bitrate, I go with 4,500. Next, for the keyframe intervals, you're gonna wanna set this to two. Down in the preset, make sure you go to quality. If you have selected the quality setting and your stream is still lagging pretty bad, you can go down to performance or max performance. But I recommend that you set it to quality so that your webcam and your game looks pretty clean and clear. Set your profile to high. Leave look ahead unchecked. Check the psycho visual tuning. Where it says GPU, leave that zero and for max b frames set it to two now that you're done with the output go down to video now here's where you select your stream resolution what i recommend is that you select your base canvas and your output scaled to 1280 by 720 you're going to want to scale to 720 because unless you have a supercomputer, your stream won't be able to handle a 1080p stream for the downscale filter i recommend by cubit and for the fps value set it to 60 unless you have a really bad computer set this to 30. so i know these settings can vary from pc to pc so what i'm about to show you is twitch's broadcasting guidelines that'll help you find the settings you need for your pc so if you go to stream.twitch.tv link in description it will take you to this page where it tells you all about the broadcasting guidelines. It will explain a little bit more about encoding and encoding performance, as well as quality. Also, if you have no clue what bitrate is, basically your bitrate is the amount of data you send to Twitch when you stream. Also, it talks a little bit about video quality. Over here on the right side, it will tell you all the specs you need if you're using an Avita NVENC encoder, as well as the X264. Down below, here are all all the most important settings that you will need, whether you're going with a 1080p 60 FPS stream or all the way down to a 720p 30 FPS stream. This will tell you what resolution you need, what to set your bitrate to, what your rate control is, your frame rates, your keyframes, your presets, and your B frames. All the most important information is on this website. And there you have it. That's how to select the correct settings to get rid of lag and stuttering while streaming with OBS. If you have any questions about Streamlabs or the settings, leave them in the comments below. Hey you guys, I stream over at twitch.tv slash calmcoolsavage every Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Come check it out, drop a follow. I would love to see you in the stream.
I upload videos every Monday and Thursday. Soon in the future, I want to increase the amount I upload. But until then, I hope you guys like the video, punch out the sub button, and keep it calm, keep it cool, keep it savage.